On this episode of DPV, building a new front shaft. Welcome to DPV. Got my dad here, and we are today building the driveline for the Big Chief, because I saw in the last episode, kind of used the rock as a lathe and uh, thinned it out a bunch. And then uh, put a nice little crease in it there. Blue U-joint. So, um, yeah, Flat upgrade point. time. So we're gonna use this uh, two and a half inch receiver tubing. It is seamless with a two inch square tubing. Build a slip drive line like uh, the Toyota guys do. Um, and should be, should be pretty good. So the first thing we gotta do is cut these yokes off um, on both ends and then uh, trace out the square of the square tube as perfectly as we can. Shape the yoke to slip into the square tube and then uh, start welding her up. And then we'll figure out how much tube we need. I, uh, I have plenty here. I'm thinking I only need about 18 inches total. Um, and we're hoping for about 9 inches of travel, but we'll see uh, what we can get out of it. So, uh, yeah, time to start hacking that thing apart. This is uh, moving right along already. So, got my two inch cut and kind of cleaned up. Dad got the drive line all tore apart, so now he is marking out the uh, for the two and a half inch, I believe, right now. So, yeah, it'll just trace the outside of that two inch, and that'll be the inside of the two and a half. Just whittle away at that metal. One yoke down. Heck yeah, this one's all laid out. Um, I had some inch and a half tubing laying around, so I traced the inch and a half since that is the inside of the two inch. Sweet. Okay. So uh, you can't loose. put a square peg in a round hole, but this is how you put a round peg in a square hole. Yeah. You make you it a off. square peg. <laughs> you cut off the round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we're trying to line up this yoke on the two and a half inch tubing. So what we did is we marked a center line on the U joint right here, and then marked the center line on the tubing and ran a straight edge there. That way we could see, is this lined up? So it can go up and down a little it bit. It can go up and down a little bit. It can rock a little bit. So we know that we need to be push it all the way down. Okay. And, and then the other thing we did was this should be square. So we put our square on there and then we're gonna measure, you know, the distance between the square and the tube. We know that we're tight on this side, so we'll tack it there and then and adjust we'll open it, it up. To make sure that that's perfectly straight so all um, the way down and then we're going to tack it on this side here and then as we're holding it down and then all we got to do is put the square in here pull this back there put another tack there double check everything tack the top and bottom she's good yeah and we'll we'll double check several times before we weld it up solid Well, we got it 
all tacked together, got to fit, just test fitted it, it looks great. So we got about, at the full, full extension, we we'll still have 10 inches of uh, engagement. So we're gonna go ahead and finish weld this with the old joints in, and then we'll press in the new joints and go wheeling. Yeah. All right, we're starting the welding process here. Um, Dad, you wanna? Okay, so, well, you know, you saw us, we got everything lined up square. We did a bunch of all of this sort of stuff. That was previous. Four basic tacks on there, and these, these tacks are basically kind of a surface tack, and they're to hold everything in position. So what we did was, basically I, I rooted this open through here with just a just a, a death wheel there, because that's all we had for working on this. But best case scenario, you would have, you know, lathes and, and a milling machine, and everything would be a really nice fit. Everything just fits in there with chamfers and everything, but this isn't the case today. So what we've done is, is we basically made a little nice little open root. So what he's doing is he's burning in a weld there, burning in a weld here. He's going to burn one in there, and he's going to burn one in there. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open this one here up. All of these tacks I'll open up so that we can get a nice down in there a quarter of an inch all the way around. Once those are opened up and I take all this flux off of here, you don't want to weld over a weld and you certainly don't want to expect one pass to cover it and you don't want to sit there and weld continuously in one spot building it up because you're too lazy to do the process so what we're going to do again we're going to he's going to weld these two more welds up do the same thing here we've done the same thing you got a tack got these four tacks i've opened them up he's going to burn one in the root not filling it up just right in the root right in the root once all four of those are done, then we'll open this one up, clean all the slag off, then he can burn one over the top of all of those. There'll be two welds here. Again, it'll be one in here, one on top of that. So it's basically two welds, maybe three, whatever it takes. Anyway, that's the process. Yeah, and that's how you can make a smaller welder work um, for this. Yeah. And even if you had a big welder with 035 wire, Probably need to make or if glasses. you're doing it with stick, you'd burn it in with like a 6010, grind all that out because it's this nice little splatter weld. But it, it 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 gets in there, and penetrates. This stuff will penetrate as long as you're down into the root, and then you got to clean it up, put some pass over the top. Yeah. If you guys are wanting a good entry level welder, this uh, Weld Pro, I've been super happy with it. Um, and it's only like 350 bucks. Uh, it'll run on T20, 110, and it will do stick, um, which is pretty awesome for $350. So, link in the description below if you want a good entry level welder. look pretty good. I'd say they do. Look at that. Not too bad for a flux core. Yeah. 110. $350 Amazon welder. Yeah. So. so next step, press out these U-joints. Uh, that one might be a little hot. It's hot. That's but, not cool. This one with gloves we can do it. So I'm running the uh, Moog Super Strength U-joints uh, that are non-greasable. And the reason I went non-greasable is because then there's no holes drilled in them, so they're stronger. Now, you can go either way on that because if you use one that's greasable, then you know you can pump all the water out when you go to deep water crossings and stuff. But I don't do a ton of deep water crossings. I do do mud, so. That can be a problem, but it should be all sealed. And I'd rather have the strength.
All right, well, we got it all installed. Looks pretty good in there. Gosh, it looks beefy. I might paint it at some point, or it might have enough transmission fluid on it that it won't rust. We're gonna go test it out now, and uh, it's gonna take about 20 minutes for the Jeep to warm up, but <laughs> with that single plane intake, oh, yeah. just <laughs> takes forever. All right, we're heading out. See if uh, see how this square drive line works. Spinning here and spinning on the other side. There you go. You got to bump it over? Um, there's, there's just small rocks in there. <laughs> Try it. You're on it. Dude, that much clearance, that's awesome.
no, you made it. Well, Dad, it was a day of victory today. It was. We did well. Yeah. So, Indeed. built a new front shaft and went and tackled front shaft with no breakage. So, uh, yeah, Chris, we're going to go ahead and name that obstacle front shaft. I think that is the perfect name. And now we need a, a name for that other boulder obstacle. That's pretty fun. Yeah, that's that's good. There's a, you, there's a split there, so. Yeah, so. Anyway, uh, that's all we got for you this time. Uh, if you want to support the channel, we got merch on Teespring. Link is in the, the description below. You can shop on Amazon via any of the links in the description. You can buy that welder that we got right there on Amazon. Uh, you can become a Patreon. Last but not least, just like, share, and subscribe. All right. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.